Good morning, Year 5 Green Group, and welcome to your Wednesday Maths lesson. Pause the video while you write down your date and learning objective to recognise equivalent lengths in metres and centimetres. Record that in your book and underline, and then do your flashback for. Number one, how long is the crayon? And that's in centimetres. Number two, how many more children played netball than rounders? Remember to look at the key. Each full circle represents eight children. Number three, what is five pounds and 27 pence? Add six pounds and 50 pence. Number four, how many hundreds are there in 462? and then write down the time on the clock. Pause while you have a go. Let's see how you did. Pause the video while you mark your answers in blue pen, please. Let's move on to today's learning. Today, we're going to be looking at equivalent lengths, and we're looking at those in metres and centimetres. Let's get ready with some practice at our skills. Number one, complete the sequence. 100, 200, 300, 400. What comes next? Yeah, 500 and then 600. Well done. Number two, how many hundreds are there? in 870. Well done if you said eight hundreds. We need to be able to recognize this today. Number three, complete the part whole model. The whole is 490. That's made up of nine tens. Nine tens are 90. What's the other part? You should have spotted that it is four hundreds. Well done if you spotted that. You will need to be able to do this today. Let's move on and learn. Today we're going to look at equivalent lengths. But what does equivalent mean? Equivalent means the same as or equal to. So we are looking for equal lengths. Here we've got a double-sided number line and it begins at zero. We're going to count along in hundreds. Do it along with me. Zero, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. What's next? 1,000. Well done. And we're going to say that that is measuring in centimetres. Can you remember from yesterday how many centimetres there are in a metre? That's right, there are 100 centimetres in one metre. So on the other side of the number line, we're going to find the equivalent measures in metres. Remembering to start at zero. So at zero metres, that is zero centimetres. At 100 centimetres, that's one metre. What comes next? 200 centimetres will be two metres. Well done if you spotted that. Three centimetres, uh, three metres is 300 centimetres. Four metres is 400 centimetres. Can you complete the line? Let's see how you did. Five is 500 centimetres. Now you can see I've done a switcher here. I've just turned round where they put them on the equal sign, but they're still equivalent to each other. So 500 centimetres is five metres. 600 centimetres is 6 metres, 700 centimetres is 7 metres, 800 
centimetres is 8 metres, 9 metres is 900 centimetres, and finally 10 metres is 1,000 centimetres. Well done if you got those correct. We could use a bar model to show the same idea, that 1 metre is equal to 100 centimetres. Because the bars are exactly the same size, they start at the same place and they finish at the same place. 1 metre is equal to 100 centimetres. So if I wanted to show that for 4 metres, let's see what that looks like. Can you see what I did? I've drawn out 1 metre, 2 metres, 3 metres, 4 metres. What would I write underneath? 100 centimetres. That's right, in each one. Can you see how many centimetres that is all together? We need to add them up. Well done if you saw that that is 400 centimetres. Let's use this idea again. What if I've got 200 centimetres? This time I'm telling you the centimetres and that goes on the bottom. We record it in them, 100, 200. So what goes written in the blue part? Well done, 1 metre and 1 metre. So 200 centimetres is equivalent to 2 metres. Well done. Now we've changed which way we put our number line. It's still a double-sided number line, but this time I'm going up the way. We call that a vertical number line, going up and down. On this side, I've put the centimetres, starting at 500, counting up in tens, until we get all the way up to 600. On this side, I'm going to record the same measurement in metres and centimetres. I wonder what 500 centimetres is in metres and centimetres. Well done if you know that 100 centimetres is 1 metre, so 500 centimetres is 5 metres. So what would come next for 510 centimetres? Let's use a part whole model like we did at the start of the lesson to help us work this out. Here we've got our 510 centimetres and we can partition that down into 500 centimetres and a 10 centimetres. How many metres is 500 centimetres? Well done if you spotted that it's 5 metres. Therefore, 510 centimetres is 5 metres and 10 centimetres. And we record it like this. What would 520 be? Let's write that in our part whole model. We can partition it down into 5 metres and 20 centimetres. And we write it on here like this. Can you spot a pattern? Can you complete the rest of that number line? Pause the video while you tell your somebody else or say it out loud. Let's see how you did. 5 metres 30, 5 metres 40 centimetres, 5 metres 50 centimetres, 5 metres 60 centimetres, 5 metres 70 centimetres, 5 metres 80 centimetres, 5 metres 90 centimetres. What will 600 be? Well done if you said 6 metres. Let's move our learning on. I'd like you now to have a go at questions 1 to 2 on the worksheet. Here is how I'd like you to record that please in your book, not on the sheet. Can you see how I've used for each bar one square tall and three squares wide, so it's easy to record the numbers inside? And writing your sentence starters on the lines like this. So number one, one metre, one metre, one metre. Think how many centimetres that is. There are how many centimetres in three metres. You may pause the video here to help you see how to record this in your book. 
and finish until you've done all of question one and two. Pause. When you've done, come back to me. Let's move our learning on. Here we can see our number line and it's just done in a different way from no metres to one metre to two metres. We know from there to there is 100 centimetres. And how many pieces have we split that into up to this point? Well done if you spotted that there are 10 of these little parts that we've shared it between. So we need to do 100 centimetres divided into 10 parts, which is 10. 10 centimetres for each part. So this point here at the end of the first block is 10 centimetres. So where would this one be? If that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70 centimetres. Well, so where could this one be? Well, you can see that we've just gone past one metre. So one metre is here. And we've gone past 10 centimetres, 20 centimetres, 30 centimetres. One metre is 100 centimetres and 30 more. So that's 130 centimetres. Can you change that into metres and centimetres? Yeah, it's one metre and 30 centimetres. Well done if you spotted that. Let's try another challenge. What about if my arrow is halfway between two sides? If this is 130 centimetres, this side must be 140 centimetres. So what is halfway between? Have a think. Well done if you said that it's 1 metre and 35 centimetres. Or 135 centimetres altogether. You'll need these skills, so you might want to go back on the video and practice that again. What about this one? 3 metres and 16 centimetres, but I want to know it in centimetres only. Let's use the part whole model and work backwards. We know that 3 metres and 16 centimetres are the parts. 3 metres is 300 centimetres. Therefore, when we add those parts together, that is 316 centimetres altogether. Well done. It's made up of 3 metres and 16 centimetres, 316 centimetres altogether. Your turn, please, to have a go at the rest of the questions on your worksheet. Here's how I'd like you to record that in your book. Number three and four, you may cut out and stick neatly, line it up with the squares in your book. Number five and so on, you can see how I'd like you to record that in your book. Pause the video to show yourself how to do that and complete that learning to the end of the rest of the questions. For some additional challenges, here they are. You'll find these in your pack. Mo and Alex each have a skipping rope. Alex says, I've got the longest skipping rope. My skipping rope is two and a half metres long. Mo says, my skipping rope is longer because it's 220 centimetres and 220 is greater than two and a half. But who is correct and why? Use your learning from today to help you. Here, three children are partitioning 754 centimetres. Teddy says it's 75 metres and 4 centimetres. Whitney says 7 metres and 54 centimetres. Jack says 54 centimetres and 7 metres. Who is correct and why? Here's something to help you. One person and another person are both correct. You need to record that sentence. And then you need to tell me who is incorrect and why. And finish your sentence. Good luck with that and I'll see you for tomorrow's learning. Goodbye!